Well, here I am on the instantly recognisable first tee at Royal St Davies Golf Club in Harlech, mighty Harlech Castle behind me to the left. I first played here, funnily enough, when I came up here for the uh, secretary's job, for an interview for the secretary's job. Needless to say, I didn't get it, but I fell in love with the course that day. So here I am once more to reacquaint myself with this fabulous Lynx course. Golfers love a bit of variety, don't they? And you get that in abundance here at Royal St David's. The front nine, quite a different feel to the back nine. The front nine, much more of a heathland feel, perhaps a lot of gorse, less undulating fairways. The back nine, up closer to the dunes, more of a rugged lynx feel. This fairway in particular is lined by gorse on either side. Now, gorse is a, a golfer's conundrum, isn't it? Lovely to look at, not so nice to be reversing into to chip back out of. Fortunately, I'm in the clear here and I've got a clear shot to the green. Have you ever played a course where, however hard you try, you just can't forget something that happened on a particular hole? Here I am on the 11th at Royal St David's, an innocuous looking short par three on the scorecard, with a green that if you miss it right or left in most places, it kind of helps you ball back onto the putting surface. But if you miss it in these two front bunkers or the one over on the right, it's a different story. Last time I was here, I had one or two issues within this particular bunker. There we are, much better memories to take away next time. Blind par three, some people love them, some people not so sure about them. This is one of the best though for me, the 14th at Royal St David's, 221 yards. You can actually just see the top of the flag, but that's about it. Well, not so good this time. I've missed the green to the left. I'm up on one of these mounds. I've left myself a little chip where the key thing is not to land it on the downslope and get it shooting forwards. Uh, got quite a good lie. So, well, here we are on the 15th tee at Royal St Davies. This is my favourite hole on the course. You come up from the 14th green up onto this raised tee in the dunes, and you look down a fairway that dog legs gently round to the right, humps and hollows everywhere, and the approach shot in some ways very similar to the tee shot on the long par 3 you've just played. There are two advantages to these steps at the back of the 16th tee at Royal St David's. Firstly, on a practical level, they allow you to see down the hole, see if the hole is clear to play. Secondly, on a feel-good level, glorious views over the dunes, the sea and the sun just setting down below the clouds. Well, as you can see, the end of a long day, the clubhouse clock says 6.30, the light is fading. It's been a great day here at Royal St David's. All that remains is for us to safely negotiate the railway on the way back to the car park.